suggested a bill at the state house today that would prohibit anti-Semitism in public schools and universities. The bill passed the Indiana House. Hannah Adamson has the story. House Republicans made it clear long before session began that tackling anti-Semitism on college campuses would be a top priority. House Bill 1002 passed its third and final reading Thursday, which some pro-Palestinian opponents argue could infringe on free speech. Chants could be heard across the state house from Hoosiers supporting Palestine. Booing at House lawmakers as they fast-tracked House Bill 1002, which tackles anti-Semitism in public schools and colleges. I am strongly against it. Susan Berndorf is with the Jewish Voice for Peace organization. She says the bill does nothing to protect Hoosiers just like her. My concern is, is that the only thing that this bill does is suppress free speech. State Representative Chris Jeter wrote House Bill 1002. He says the bill is essential to protect Jewish students. It prohibits any state curriculum in any K-12 or higher education institution. It prevents any curriculum from teaching anti-Semitism or anti-Semitic activity. And in order to do that, we have to, to do that, we have to define it. The bill adopts the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance's definition of anti-Semitism. It defines anti-Semitism as holding Jews responsible for Israel's actions, claiming Israel's existence is racist, and comparing Israel's actions to that of Nazi Germany. Those examples conflate the idea of anti-Semitism with criticisms of the state of Israel. And those two things do not, cannot coexist together. However, the definition does not include any mention of Palestine, reading in part, quote, criticism of Israel similar to that leveled against any other country cannot be regarded as anti-Semitic. There's been a little misconception that maybe this bill impacts free speech or people's ability to protest. Doesn't do any of that. It's really just a curriculum bill. The bill now makes its way to the Senate where it has an unclear fate. That's because the exact same bill passed in the House last session but never got a hearing in the Senate. Reporting from the State House, I'm Hannah Adamson.